Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and welcome to another Lego set review. Today we're taking a look at set 44006, Breeze. This is recommended for ages 6 to 12 and has around 49 pieces. So here we'll take a look at the packaging first. You can see we've got Breeze, of course, here on the front. Uh, we've got all of the set info there. Lego Hero Factory logo going across the side there, uh, vertically. That would have been the Brain Attack logo up there. Uh, you can get 400 game points. On the back it shows the combiner model with Breeze and Ogrim. And more stuff about the game points and then the actual size of the helmet. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual set. So here is Breeze in her Brain Attack upgrade. So I'll say I like this version of her better than the last one. I feel like this one, this uh, suits uh, her a lot better. So features, uh, she's got a spinning razor blade, giant razor blade, I guess. So that can just spin. It's just on a frictionless uh, pin axle or axle pin or whatever. So you can just spin that round and round and over again if you want. Uh, you can also flip up the visor to reveal her helmet there, um, or put it down, and then up and down and up and down. Uh, and then also, probably one of my favorite features, they did this with Raka, and they also do it with Bulk. Uh, you can take off the shield and place it on her back for easy storage, so that is very nice. So now she has a free hand to use, so she can maybe use both of her hands uh, for this staff thing, so I think this is actually, this is supposed to be a staff bow or something. I remember me and my friends had some sort of debate or argument that, uh, uh, I said, I think I said it was like a staff and he said it was a bow and then, uh, I looked online and apparently it was a staff bow. I remember looking on the website and being really surprised, but, uh, just a little funny story there, so, uh, yeah, it does look like a bow a little bit, uh, mainly because of the curve or whatever, and then just seems like a staff because it's pretty straight. Um, we've got some lime green spikes on it, uh, so silver, brown, and green. Yeah, it's neat, I guess. So uh, I feel like the inclusion of brown in her color scheme is a bit awkward, considering the only brown pieces are uh, these uh, these pieces and this one right there, and those ones are all the same piece. So. I wouldn't say it really blends with the color scheme very well. It sort of goes, it, I feel like it's okay for the staff since it's, well, a staff. It's supposed to be like a sort of a stick. But uh, I don't understand, I don't really like how they put this, uh, this one right there on her back. So don't think that works very well. And I would have also preferred this to be silver instead of gunmetal because uh, this is the only piece of gunmetal that she actually has. So it would have been better if that were silver. Um... Then she's got her hero clamps there, which you can just open like that to reveal her hero core. And, of course, that has a code on the back. You can't really see it, but uh, that would be used to redeem game points in the game that was available online for free. Uh, and you can get upgrades with all the points. I remember playing that game. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there isn't a whole lot to Breeze. Uh, she did introduce a couple of new parts, such as these translucent lime... Uh, or not these lines, translucent uh, jungle green, as I call them, uh, forlong armor shells, and uh, these would be used uh, quite a bit in Bionicle uh, G2. I think some of them are used on Vizuna, so yeah, these were a very nice piece to get at the time, and you got two of them in this one set, which is pretty cool. Um, also, the chest piece was new at the time, uh, that held the hero clamps. Uh, it was also nice to get these uh, little staff pieces, or spike pieces, or whatever they're called, uh, just in just a regular silver. These aren't gunmetal as they usually come in. These are actually silver ones, and I don't think they ever came in this color again after this set, although I may be wrong about that. Um, and then, of course, other new pieces included uh, the visor, the actual helmet, and then the brain attack headpiece, which uh, just looks like that, so... Yep, those were used for all of the heroes uh, in a couple different colors. So, yep. Uh, so, I honestly think that's really it in terms of new pieces and all, and colors and all that. But, uh, uh, not a whole lot to her, but uh, for a figure, I think she's pretty great for what she is, and I think it really represents her very well. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for the set, so let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions. So here is the instruction manual for Breeze. It's just a small little uh, instruction pan uh, manual. Uh, same stuff as on the front of the 
packaging on the front here. A little comic representing showing the story uh, for the uh, time. Uh, shows here that if you're confused, you should organize your pieces. Instructions, instructions, uh, final product. Then our good old list of pieces, advertisement for the Brainify app, which I used to use. Uh, and then it shows that you can get 400 game points uh, with the code on the back of the hero core. Um, combiner model between Breeze and Ogrim. And uh, advertisement for Bulk and his brain attack upgrade, as well as Scarox. And then advertisement for the LEGO Club. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and move on to the end of the video. So overall, Breeze here is definitely, this is definitely my favorite iteration of Breeze, and probably my favorite hero uh, from the first wave of Brain Attack uh, sets. Uh, or maybe, I don't know, it's sort of tied with uh, Ferno XL, but uh, I'll review him once I get to him. But uh, I really do like this version of Breeze, I think this upgrade really suits her well. And the pieces that you get is just pretty cool, like those translucent pieces are really good, those silver pieces. And I really do think the helmet uh, is really cool, especially in silver. Very different, instead of just getting it in lime, you get it in silver, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, really the only problem I have is just that that's not silver, and that is not really saying much. But overall, very great figure for a $10 set uh, when it was released. And that's pretty much all I have to say, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!